So, this is Weatherby. Yes, this is Weatherby. We are at Weatherby for the Townsend Novices Chase. It's a three mile, one furlong grade two. And the top one is Battle of the Hot Gates. Joshua Sutherland, Aero Love, Molliette Surfer, Hot Port, Paul Rhodes, James Yogi, Derek Hinton, Rambling Rhapsody, Ghost Zapper, Robin Deschamps, Obi Wan, Mere Days, Darren Thompson, Pulling Your Leg, Graham Clutterbuck, and Warren Stu Gray. So, just nine of them on the right course this time. And away we go. And Rambling Rhapsody. Is the leader and hot port is second. And putting a leg on the inside is third, so Rhapsody pulling for his head now. The leading horse as he comes down to this, and over it they go. Didn't jump it all that well though, and hot port was better on the inside. So they've got 21 more fences to take yet, and this is the second of them, and over it they go. And the grey rambling Rhapsody on the outside of hot port. Battle at the hot gates back in third. And Mere Days is fourth, Hero Love is fifth. So stream over that one, Robin Deschamps is the back marker. And a hot port has gone into the lead. Only a short run to the fourth, and over that one they all go. With Hero Love down on his nose a little bit as they come past the screen. And past the winning post. I don't think they ran another twice yet. And this three mile novice is Chase, and hot port on the inside of a Rambling Rhapsody in second. They're three lengths clear. Of Battle at the Hot Gates in third, and Mare Days is fourth, James Yogi is fifth, and comes pulling your leg and Aero Love together. It's just tucked in behind them, Warren, and Robin Deschamps is the back marker. So, just one more port of call after this today, and Stu will be at Musselburgh, hopefully. The final two races, and then next week it's the Cheltenham Festival, so of action to look forward to next week as they take the next and I'm sure we'll see a few of these in the big novice chase and rambling rhapsody in the lead at the moment over this ditch with hot port giving it plenty of air in second good big jump at the back by Warren I've seen that one overtake a couple in the air and rambling rhapsody is the leader for the next slower jump by, mad, uh, by pulling a leg mere days on the inside of that one as they take the eighth and the mistake this time was by Robin Deschamps at the back. Just gave it a little bit of a wallop. Just a little more than two miles to go now as they take this ditch. And the leader is setting a stiff pace. And jumping well for the most part. Hot port in second. James Yogi back in third. And battle at the hot gates of Warren. With Aero Love on the outside of them, of those two. Then Mere Days and pulling a leg together and Robin Deschamps is about five lengths to drift out the back after that mistake earlier on. So Rambling Rhapsody and Hot Port then. Making their way towards the next fence. Two of the top trainers of course these in the lead. Rambling Rhapsody takes it nicely. Hot Port jumped it much slower in second. Hot Port over it in third, then Battle at the Hot Gates fourth. Aaron loves on the inside of Warren. As they take that ditch, that's the 11th and half. The jumping done now. Warren wasn't all that quick over that one. Robin Deschamps is still toiling a little bit at the back. As they take the 12th. Jumping's been good so far. One or two mistakes, but all still on their feet. So they take the 13th. And that doesn't appear to be unlucky for anybody that time. Come past the screen, past the winning post, left hand down, one more circuit, chaps, and then you're done for the day. Apart from those of you that are at Musselburgh with Stu and Hot Port on the outside of Rambling Rhapsody. Battle at the Hot Gates is third, Aaron Love is fourth, and James Yogi, the main body of the field, are pretty tightly grouped now, with the exception of Robin Deschamps, who's somewhere adrift, but he's still continuing to. Persevere, toiling in their wake, and a rambling rhapsody in a hot port. And five or six lengths clear of battle at the hot gates, who's stalking them in third. They take the 14th, uh, battle at the hot gates didn't jump that one all that well. Since he was starting to move into a more challenging position, that one had knocked a little bit of the stuffing out of him as they come down to this ditch. And over that one, and battle at the hot gates was slow at that one, and Robin Deschamps has in fact been pulled up at the back. One's out for the 
We're going then as they skip over number 16 and this time it was James Yogi that gave it a bit of air and we're losing mere days at the back now as well that one's been pulled up as well so they've I've set a stiff pace these leading pair and hot port is just a leader on the outside now rambling rhapsody as they come into the next one and hot port jump that one quicker rambling rhapsody looks to be going the better of the two though to be honest and James Yogi's running on in third, then Battle of the Hot Gates, then Warren, and then Aero Love, and then pulling your leg. And these two up front have gone off really quick, so they could be coming to the end of their tether. And here comes James Yogi, I'm sweeping around the outside and take it up. So Derek Hinton's James Yogi is the new leader passing the four furlong pole, and suddenly has gone three or four lengths clear. And Hot Port and Rambling Rhapsody suddenly looks to be treading water. Then comes Battle of the Hot Gates trying to run on, and the complexion of the race has completely changed now with three furlongs to go. James Yogi's in the lead. He's being chased by Hot Port and Rambling Rhapsody. We're trying to get going again. This is the fourth of home. Over that one they go. James Yogi's clear. Battle of the Hot Gates is running on really strongly in fourth. What of Hot Port and Rambling Rhapsody got left. James Yogi's in front over the third last. Jumps it well, gets away from it well. Rambling Rhapsody's trying to run on. Hot Port looks beaten. Battle of the Hot Gates is trying to get into it as well, but it's James Yogi down towards the second last. James Yogi over in front from on the outside. Battle of the Hot Gates. Rambling Rhapsody's trying to rally, but it's James Yogi. James Yogi inside the final furlong at the final fence. Slow jump by James Yogi. Here comes Battle of the Hot Gates, and Battle of the Hot Gates takes it up from Rambling Rhapsody who's trying to run on, but Battle of the Hot Gates has towed it to perfection. And up towards the line, Battle of the Hot Gates takes it. Rambling Rhapsody second, Hot Port third, then James. James Yogi for an error of five with Warren and pulling a leg after that one. And a thrilling race there. James Yogi went for home, but he was run down by a battle at the hot gates for Joshua Sutherland. He takes the final race at Weatherby. Well, the only race at Weatherby in the end. Rambling Rhapsody was second for Ghost Zapper. Hot Port for Paul Rhodes was third. James Yogi for Derek Hinton fourth. And Aero Love for Molliet Surfer was fifth.